making bread is not bread. And it's absolutely horrible for you. See, to get the fluffy, sweet, delicious bread millions of Americans love to eat, you need a few very special ingredients. Like potassium bromate, an additive that makes bread rise. Or azodicarbonamide, a chemical to bleach and strengthen the dough. Do you know where else you can find these chemicals? In yoga mats, pesticides, and even explosives. And all these chemicals have one thing in common. They can cause all sorts of cancer. That's why the European Union, the UK, and even China have banned them from food production. But not in America. To this day, the FDA says these additives are generally recognized as safe to eat. Ah, uh, yes. American bread is... Shalom, shalom, call hello, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Raka Kodash. That's giving all praise to the Most High in the name of His only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. My name is Ibar from the Prophets in Babylon camp down here in Tampa, Florida, and I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught us His truth and truth and sincerity. Peace and salutations to the hopeful like scattered abroad. And I'm gonna title this video "Defiled Bread." Okay, defiled bread. And in this video. <clears throat> Uh, you see them talking about, you know, some of the ingredients in American bread that is banned in other countries, man. OK, and I'll, I'll go into this a lot because, you know, we the Lord told us to warn the people, you know, we supposed to be watching, supposed to be warning the people telling you, you know, to eat better, eat healthier, you know, to to, to, to be aware of what you're eating because these things are are, uh, are uh, killing you, man. It's giving you cancer. It's, it's making you sick, you know. Which uh, bread in itself is uh, super bad for you, man. You know, it's better to eat less bread, you know, more, um, you know, veggies, you know, more uh, fruits, you know, even some meat. But even, <laughs> well, even the meat bad, too. But definitely, you know, try to avoid and, uh, you know, abstain from uh, bread, man, because it's just a bunch of carbs. You know, it's a bunch of, uh, uh, you know, sugars that just, you know, stay in your body and don't leave. You know, and they said how some of these ingredients causes cancer. OK, it causes cancer. And pretty much a part of this is um, to not only bring down a population, but to make money, man. OK. Uh, you know, all these companies are, are, are in bed together, you know, whether, whether it be the pharmaceutical company that, 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 you know, sells you the medication after you, you catch the cancer or the company that's putting this toxins in your food to give you the cancer. It all work together, man. You know, which shows you that this place is not, you know, for the long run, man. This place must be destroyed. And all these other countries, they are against this, you know. But America is openly poisoning its own people. And this is why the Lord has to come and destroy this place. America must be destroyed. It's going to be a burnt offering for the whole world. All right. So this is from the brother, um, uh, uh, lawyer, uh, uh, uh Rahaban. Shalom, brother. Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Barakatav. If you're watching this, brother, I always make you know some beautiful posts on Instagram, and I'm gonna uh, grab some of his scriptures he put here, which is a scripture that we go that, that we go through a lot, you know, that you should know, know about these scriptures. But we will start off with um, Ezekiel chapter four, verse thirteen. It says, "The Lord Yahweh said, even thus shall the children of Israel, which are you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, Native Indians." Eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles, whether I will drive them. You see, and we were driven over here in captivity to the land of America among all these Gentiles. because They say America is a melting pot. You know, we, we were driven here among all these Gentiles and we're eating defiled bread. OK, our food is being poisoned. OK, you hear about pesticides and all type of stuff in your food, man. You know, and you just out there willy nilly eating it like, <laughs> like you don't hear these things. Eventually, you're going to get sick, man. Eventually, it's going to cause, you know, death and destruction to you, man. So now's the time to eat less, fast more. You know, we got the Day of Atonement coming up, you know, which is a um, a fast for all of Israel. Hey, Amen. Get in the habit of fasting more. Get in the habit of eating less. Get into the habit of intermittent fasting, man. You know, at a certain period of time during the day, you know, you, know, you, you uh, shouldn't be eating, man. Like me personally, you know, I stopped eating after 7 p.m., you know. I, I usually don't eat after 7 p.m. And I don't eat, you know, um, until like, you know, you know, well, I get out to get up early for, for work. So about mm, seven, eight, you know, so about, you know, 12 hours, I, I don't eat, 
you know, and that gives my body a break, you know, to um, uh, rejuvenate, you know, and and, um, and also when you don't eat for hours before bed, instead of your food, instead of your body breaking down food whenever you go to bed, it's uh, healing your body, man. Your body naturally heals itself, you know. So, I'll, I'll, you know, it's something to, 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 to take with you, man. You know, and it's true thing. It's about cussing out Edomites and, and not eating pork. It's also about warning our people of the destruction that is, um, you know, uh, coming, man. You know, destruction that, 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 that is here and how this man is trying to kill you, you know. So, yeah. And, and with that, man, when you do that, you know, you, you start, you know, get, getting a lot healthier. You start thinking a lot clearer. But also, too, with that, you want to add less poisons in your diet man you can't just be eating all type of candy and sugars and drinking all kind of soda that shit gotta go too man this shit got a chemicals in it that's killing you all right so let me bring that back it says ezekiel chapter 4 verse 13 and yahweh said even thus shall the children of israel eat their defiled bread among the gentiles whether i will drive them so we have been driven among these heathens these gentiles and we're eating our bread defiled okay our food is defiled totally you know through okay and because of this what, what happened you got a lot of you know death you know sickness a lot of um uh dis-ease okay disease which means dis-ease your body's not at ease okay micah chapter 2 verse 10 arise ye in the park which this happens uh mentally first man you know mentally and spiritually first before we can get up out of america we have to get up out of america physic um i mean uh, mentally and spiritually so it says, arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. This place is polluted. It shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. And that's what it does. It destroys you, man. That's why you see, and I saw, you know, you got all these articles coming out, bro, about the rise of cancer and young people getting cancer at a younger age. You know, that's not by coincidence, man. That's not by some, you know, uh, some, you know, mystery. No, they, they, they're giving you cancer. With all this shit they put in your food, man. You know, and they're doing it deliberately to kill you. This is a part of this man's plan. And that's why we need Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Hey, we, we only here, okay, through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. This man is, has poison in your water, your air, your food, or even the clothes you wear, you, you, you wear, man, has, you know, poisons and chemicals in it that's not good for your body, man. You know, so this is hell. This is why we should be striving every day to get the hell up out of here. From there, I want to grab, um... Matthew chapter 24, verse uh, 21, it says, For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. And except those days should be shortened. The Lord got to shorten these times. That's why you feel like the time is speeding up. The Lord is shortening these days, man. He's coming back soon to deliver his people. It says, And for then shall the doubt shall, shall like, for then shall be great tribulation. Such as was never since the beginning of the world to this time, nor ever shall be. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. Okay, so if the Lord didn't speed up the time to shorten these days, nobody was going to make it. Everybody going to die. Okay, this man, this man is a mad scientist and he's trying to kill everybody. And he's pushing his, you know, wickedness throughout the whole world. It says, but for the elect's sake, those days should be shortened. Matter of fact, I want to grab this in the blue, in the NLT. I want to grab it in the NLT real quick. Salakia. Because, um, yeah, man, you know, it, it, this just go to show you that we, 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 amen, we need salvation, man. We need the Lord to come and deliver us out of this hell, okay? And that's the only way things are going to be made right. Right now, things ain't right, okay? Let's go, uh, let's see, Matthew. NLT, which NLT is a great, um, is a great, uh, uh, study. Thanks. Is, 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 is a good thing to study from, you know, to correlate the scriptures. Cause man, you get more understanding, man. Let me see. Um, I put 34. Oh, Salakia. Bear with me one second. That's damn phone acting crazy. Twenty-four and uh, twenty-two. It says, "Um, 
This is the BibleGateway.com. It says, New Living Translation, Matthew chapter 24, verse 22. It says, in fact, unless that that time of calamity is shortened, not a single person will survive. You see, not a single person will survive, but it will be shortened for the sake of God's chosen ones. So the Lord is shortening these times for his elect, for his chosen ones, man. To hell with everybody else. It's all about the elect. OK, it's all about the elect. And this is why we got to repent. Come back to your house, I'll shine in truth and sincerity and get our minds right. Because at the end of the day, this is not it, man. You don't want to get caught up in this place. You don't want to be destroyed with destroyed um, uh, with this place, man. You know, Esau is a mad scientist, man. And he doing a lot of wicked shit in the earth to destroy you. OK, he said no one will survive. All right. And this is all according to their plans. This is all according to their plans. This is what they want. OK, let me grab this real quick. Um, which, which, which they are pretty much uh, weaponizing food, man. You know, so people would get caught up and they, you know, just eating up all this garbage. That's what you did. They, 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 they didn't weaponize this damn food, man. Okay. And weaponize his food, man. Let me see if I can grab this. Uh, do, 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 do. I can never find this scripture, Salakia. I don't think I'm gonna be able to find it, man. It's whatever. It's whatever. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't gonna stress about it. But yeah, man, you 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 pretty much get get the picture, man. Okay. And it's the Lord that keeps us alive, that keeps us, you know, uh, um, sane and whole, you know. Because really, hey, man, at the end of the day, this man is doing everything in his power to try to kill you. You know, he's a mad scientist. Let me grab go 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 here. So it's only going to get worse. We, we know it's only going to get worse. And this is a part of him coming down with that great wrath. He's putting more poison in your food. He's putting more poison in your air. He's, you, you see the chemtrails. The chemtrails are increasing. You know, they ain't even hiding it no more, man. It's, it's blankly in your face. It says, Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens, ye that dwell in them. Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth and, the, and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. So the Lord is speaking of the times. This man knows his time is short. So he's going to start acting out, you know, he's going to start acting out and doing more demonic things to the people. All right. That's the point, though. With that being said, I'm going to say Shalom, Kwame Shirala, Ababa Ball. Shalom.